Novel Tea with S&B is a show about two sisters-in-law who share their love of books and tea. Sometimes they read together, sometimes not. Sometimes horror, but mostly smut. They review and recommend the books they've read and chat about other fun topics too. Don't worry, they won't spoil anything, and if they do, they'll warn you. Also be warned, this show is not for kids, or for anyone who might be offended by a horror or sex talk, or both. Looking at you, Mom. And welcome back to Novelty with s and the book club with a podcast. I'm your co-host, Beck. And I'm Stephanie. This is the month of fantasy romance. Do you want to you tell are... me what you read this month? Yeah, for sure. Um, I read A Court This Cruel and Lovely by Stasia Stark. Ask for Andrea by Noelle W. Ely. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, I think so. The Ever King, which was our read with s and And that was by L.J. Andrews. And The Fabric of Our Souls by K.M. Mornova. And what did you read? I read Crimson Promises by Joycelyn Bleh. Paladin's <laughs> Hope, Paladin's Faith, both by T. Kingfisher and The Ever King by L.J. Andrews. Nice, nice. Didn't you read something by Sasha Stark last month? No. Oh, mm-hmm. oh no, you were just telling us that you were, were reading it. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, it was the book I was currently reading. So, um, A Court This Cruel and Lovely, it's a romanticy. 562 pages um i started reading it on december 21st and i finished it january 9th and i read it on ku so if anybody wants to read it on ku it's there um so the summary is for years when i fell asleep i dreamed of a man with blazing green eyes and a cruel smile the day i met him the ruthless mercenary leaves me for dead just hours after humans are born the gods take what little power we have in return they protect our borders from the vicious merciless fae the humans who manage to keep their power are known as the corrupt, and they are burned. When my forbidden power is discovered, I'm forced to flee my tiny village and the life I adore. To survive, I make a desperate bargain with the mercenary who abandoned me at my weakest. Our deal is simple. I'll help him and his mysterious friend sneak into the city, and he'll help me learn to wield the strange dark power I've always kept hidden. The power that may just be the key to my survival. But the ruthless mercenary is hiding secrets of his own, secrets that threaten the safety of everyone I love, secrets that could tear this kingdom and perhaps even this world apart. So, yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed the the magic system and the world building and the story was all really fun. Um, There was a lot of interesting things going on in the world. Um, I don't know if this was done like purposefully, but I could see a lot of like... um, similarities between our world and that world when it comes to like the elite versus the you know the normies mm. or the the commoners um if you traded yeah. magic with money it's pretty much like very similar to our world um you would have to i don't want to give a lot away um because there's a lot of neat things in this book um with magic and the the rich kind of using it to their advantage and uh, there's just the story goes off into so many places. It's good. It's just um, I don't want to give anything away because there's a lot of um, not so much twists as like, oh, like you're kind of wondering like, well, why is it like this? And then you're like, mm-hmm. oh, because you find out. So I guess that's not really a twist. It, but it gets it's just revealed. Like surprises. Yeah, 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 for sure. So um, it's a slow burn romance. So there wasn't any real spice in the first half of the book, which... I was okay with so I love a good enemies to lovers with a slow burn because Mm -hmm. they're enemies right so (laughs) it shouldn't be like chapter two um uh it is with romance it's always a bit corny um you know and it was and it was (laughs) but it didn't take away from the story or anything and I was I was rooting for them the whole time so they were written well and uh I think it was pretty good story um I'm in a difficult position so I like book and i liked it well but and i want to know what happens right don't get me sure, wrong sure sure <laughs> but do i do i so it's a long series so like do i really want to dedicate the time for another 1500 plus pages in the series to find out i i don't know so sometimes i read a book and i'm like i want the next one mm-hmm. like i want to yeah, know like right away and i, yeah. I want to know but like uh, it's i just it's daunting to think of instead of being like I don't even care how long it is. I'm thinking of how long it is. 
And that's mm-hmm. where I'm like, shit, I don't know if I really want to. I don't know. So I'm going to I'm going to let it simmer for a minute. Yeah, <laughs> so absolutely. I yeah. And I, I do want to know. And I, I probably if I get into like a slump where I can't find anything like I don't know what I want, then I'll probably move on to the next one. Sure. But it's not something I'm going to get into immediately. So um, I gave it three stars okay. and um, two and a half chili peppers. It really wasn't that spicy. She does say as the series goes on, it gets spicier. So the more books you read, the yeah, more. Yeah, yeah spice you're gonna get um two eye rolls because you know it's romance is sometimes just like <laughs> but there's not nothing specific bad. that like no no just there's just some corny things like corny just um the things they say i, I didn't write any quotes down but some of the language yeah yeah was okay just like, okay like too much like calm down just, calm, <laughs> just calm chill down. out yeah, chill out just, no but um to as far as recommending it goes sure if you love romanticy and you are a fan of like a really long series yeah read it it's um, i don't really have any big dislikes but it was as we have said in the past it needed some old bay so there was yeah. something, something missing. missing and like that may i may find that something in the next book but i don't know and i think maybe that's why i'm not because i didn't i liked it right it, it was good but i wasn't um like floored where like oh god what happens next like yeah, like some but of the other know. ones. But yeah. Like, yeah, so. uh, what is that? The Serpent and the Wings of Night oh, or whatever. That one was definitely one of those that like, yeah. I didn't have any in between. You need to consume the next one as soon yeah. as possible. Yeah, I was definitely like that. So um, I don't know. We'll see. But you will know if I read it again. <laughs> yeah, that's here, true. So. <laughs> or if I read the next one in the series. So um, what are you going to talk about first? Uh, so yeah the first book i read this month was crimson promises it was a um, advanced reader copy that i got from book sirens so thank you book sirens for that it is Ooh, by choice lynn Bleu. i'm gonna say it that way because it looks french but i'm pretty <laughs> sure it's blue um it is 570 pages we read some really really big boys this yeah we did this month we sure did Mm-hmm. every every month that i'm like you know i didn't read this much this month i feel and, and then, then i the look back count. Like, oh you know <laughs> what why. actually yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that is a big one i started this on december 27th 2023 and i ended it on january 5th um the plot summary is that it tells the story of aurora james a young woman with a gift and bennett callum a fallen angel sinking revenge The two characters are drawn to each other despite their differences and the secrets that they keep. Okay. Okay. So, (laughs) I wrote as short of a synopsis as I possibly could because um, as I get into the evaluation, it will make a little more sense because the book did not make sense whatsoever. Oof. So, I do want to first preface this with, I am not an English professor. I do not have a wide knowledge of grammar or literary devices. I understand that some people do read for fun and just vibe with a book. And I don't ever want to come across as overly harsh or critical. All I'm going to say is something that I took personally from the book. And I would personally want to know um, before I started reading a book. That's what reviews are for, right? Like, I want right. to know what's going on, how well written, like, if it makes yeah. sense. So, yeah, with all that being sure. said... <laughs> This book had a lot of potentials. I liked the premise of the story of fallen angels and God and hell and the devil and all of that. That's really cool to me. I love like biblical lore. It's super yeah. cool. However, <laughs> none of the characters were consistent. Ben was supposed to be like this vengeful and ruthless angel, but he was easily fooled by like basically everybody and manipulated by like the obvious secrets around him um aurora is supposed to be this like shy and lonely girl who prefers to she's not like other girls oh just, of course i just tucked my hair behind my ear just so everyone knows yeah uh, <laughs> but then like she acted like a confident and popular like she was the coolest coolest girl in the world um but she also had like no loyalty or common sense whatsoever and she made so many stupid choices that i almost gave up like halfway through the book Oof. she's one of those that is like too dumb to live you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. also a really big ick is that um the main character ben is supposed to be like her guardian angel and has been watching over her since literally 
she was born. Oh. And then he starts developing feelings for her like that. Mm. Mm. No, thank that's you. Kinda, yeah, that's kind of gross. And then, um, <laughs> so as far as like the plot goes, it was also very poorly executed. Uh, the last third of the book could have been a completely different book altogether. Uh, mm. It was all rushed, illogical. It, the last third completely ruined any romance that was between Ben and Aurora for me personally. Oh, wow. Like, it feels like the author tried to create some like drama and suspense, but it just like backfired. Mm. Um, and then she was constantly in like a love triangle. She was first, um, she started dating a quarterback. And like, I don't understand why that was part <laughs> of the book anyway like why did this quarterback have any sort of interest right in a girl that works at the library and like i don't know mm. and then Oof. like and then later on with another character that i don't want to spoil um, okay whatever but um uh -huh. the book also had like some obviously grammatical errors and inconsistencies that i feel like would have been fixed by an editor <laughs> but oh okay well, yeah, and then when you're not like enjoying the book, that stuff just seems to oh yeah stand out more. I mean, I've overlooked like eh. yeah, there's a lot of but, like authors I would probably overlook some of like oh who yeah. is she she is she or she is he or what? But then like <laughs> this is yeah. just mm. ooh big oof. But um, yeah. that being said, um, I did rate it three stars on oh, uh, wow. Goodreads, but I think I'm going to lean like 2.5 because like, okay. I don't want to, um, I don't want, cause somebody, somebody out there might enjoy this, right? They might yeah. think it's, so I don't want like to discourage people from reading it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but with that being said, like three or four eye rolls to spice, um, it was still a lot better than Awkward in October, so that also is why <laughs> I bumped up the rating a little bit. Yeah. Um, but, like, yeah, you can read it if you have, like, 570 pages worth of reading in you, but um, mm. I I also feel like I should mention, I, I mentioned Webtoons a lot, but um, The Devil is a Handsome Man by Hello, This is Angle uh, is a great, like, the devil is in it and it's like this cool like hierarchy of um hell basically really cool um but it has been on hiatus since 2019 so oh wow um yeah oh well that kind of i really liked it yeah that kind of sucks though that the book fell because it does sound cool yeah um, like is this like a first like is, has she, is this her first book yes. or it is okay mm -hmm. well and like i don't I want that said to before, her. It, yeah. it happens i mean it's your first one yeah, like, and like I've said before, I think when new authors get too like overzealous and try to write something that's five hundred and seventy pages, like you could have yeah. you could have made that into three books and it would have been fine. Like Right, right. Um and I, no, I, I think... believe Go ahead. Oh no, I'm sorry. I was just gonna say like you had this intro where you didn't wanna like offend, but if you know, I think if she this is good feedback. So she knows, you know, especially if she's brand new. Like, right. Yeah. This is what arcs are for. So, yeah. If I was an author, this is the things that I would want to know for sure. Like, oh, Absolutely. shit. Like, OK, this maybe I should change this little part to make more sense. Or maybe I should just get rid of the quarterback. Like, you know, just cut him out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't so, even remember um, his name. <laughs> I mean, there you go. So, OK, well, you know, that's that's. You win some, you lose some, but you exactly. know, she'll, she has room to grow and she's brand new. Um, yeah, and so. I think this is um, book one of two, so maybe two. Oh, I was going to ask yeah. that. It's a series? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. It did, it did end on a cliffhanger, I should say, too. Um, so, <laughs> like, you, you kind of <laughs> need to know what comes next, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so What's my next, next for you? Yeah. It's uh, Ask for Andrea by Noelle W. Ely. And it's a thriller, and it's like a, a paranormal thriller, okay? It's okay. um 272 pages. I started it on January 9th and ended it January 15th, and it's KU, as always. No, most of the mm -hmm. time, anyways. Most, well, um, yeah, you pay for the service. You might as well get the most out of heck it. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. So, so um, 
The premise is James Carson has gotten away with murder three times. The only thing that might stop him from killing again, the three women he murdered. He hunted them online, masquerading as an eligible bachelor. Then he played the perfect gentleman, a thick layer of charm and a thousand watt smile, hiding the fact that his first dates end in shallow graves. What James doesn't know is that his three victims have found each other and they're coming after him. Brisha, Megan, and Sky, I think it's Brisha, that's how I said it, uh, might be dead, but they're not gone. And they won't rest until they find a way to keep him from killing again. The haunt is on. Oh. Okay. It was, it was, it was fun. So this um, was very different from anything I have read before, um, especially recently. Um, it was, so I came across it. I'm like, ooh, that kind of sounds interesting. And it's something I might have saved and then, uh, you know, maybe one day. Mm -hmm. But one of my reading goals was to explore different genres. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna read it. It's not that long. I mean, it's like, what's 272 pages. So it's not bad. Not so bad. I was like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. So um, overall, it's um, a really intriguing and sad story. There's a lot of perspectives in this book. So you have the three girls. Um... It's like their perspectives pretty much the whole time. Um, and you you find out about each of their deaths. You find about how they found, how they realized, when they realized they were ghosts. It, it's so, and the ghost part was written so well. It wasn't like, people, you know, you hear ghosts and you think like, ooh, like, no. Like, it was written, <laughs> I mean, obviously, but it was like written like. Like some Scooby-Doo shit. Yeah, it was written so well. And like the way they realized they were dead oh my god it that was amazing um sad story sad sad though so some people complain about the different perspectives being confusing i didn't get confused i don't know if it was just because i was really into like each of their stories on what happened mm -hmm. that like i kind of uh i don't know i didn't ha i didn't get confused i knew who they were the whole time it would jump from one person to another um and even with all that it, it still wasn't a confusing t it does go back and forth like one year before current for as many times as I did that, and the way I am, I'm honestly surprised I didn't get lost. I think I was just into the story that, I I don't know, it just, I, it didn't lose me at all. But I guess mm -hmm. some people found that um difficult to keep up with, whatever. Sure, yeah. But um, the only things, okay, so his, he was married, and you find that out. And that's not a spoiler, right? Okay. Um, but he, his wife, like, doesn't know. I, I, you know, and I've seen this in real life things it's like how do you not know like <laughs> yeah. how do you not know and i mean it does get into like her story a little bit and you learn more about her whatever but like i, I can never understand that but you know i mean that's also a thing that happens in real life like how do you how do you not know but i don't know um the one thing or another thing that i didn't really like it's like um the book isn't very long and i get that but it's like he just decided to murder a girl and then another and then another like one day like random mm. and you get like a you get a really little crumb of from his past of like the why perhaps of you know why he's doing this but it's like a it's a it's a crumb like a pink that happened so maybe um i would have liked to know more about him what led to this a little bit more of his backstory is it something he's wanted to do for a long time is it you know what i mean it was just weird because it was like it just seemed like and you get one his, day you get his pov often no oh okay mm -mm. but that's what i was gonna say on that note it may be because the story wasn't about him or for him it was supposed yeah. to be for the victims yeah, fuck and him. so i think that might be why why um i gave it three stars only because i wish it was a little longer i think mm. she i think it could have been a lot longer um that's just personal opinion. it was a good story though i i enjoyed it um no spice <laughs> No eye rolls. Um, I I liked the 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 girls were they were good and they um well I can't give anything away but it, it was a good book <laughs> so um it was a really unique thriller and I say it is worth the read if you're into that um genre yeah and the paranormal aspect is really cool I know some people who are into like mysteries and thrillers and things like that get turned off by the paranormal aspect but with this book you should give it a try because it's um the way it was written is it's it's well written it's i i really did love the way the author um just told the story of the afterlife of these three girls i mean they're telling you and it, and it was just it was interesting and it wasn't like 
it wasn't like spooky or you know what I mean it was just sure how they deal with it you know they don't sleep anymore they're just alone with their thoughts and how they get through this and they want someone to find their body and they're like like one girl stays with her body because she and she literally talks about watching birds come and pet Mm. yeah it's not um there's a little bit of go worry or murder yeah it. sure it's not it's yeah. not it's nothing bad at all like you know no it's not horror i mean compared to what you've read <laughs> i think even in general i mean if you if there's murder in the book you know there's gonna be but yeah, there's not gonna like be something. the slasher book i read the other you know <laughs> yeah, right like that it's um it's in there but it's not in detail or, or anything disgusting but it, it just, does yeah. make you and like it's not so much ew is like you just feel for her yeah, you get it's more like, oh. a, you're reading it and you're like oh my god and you just feel for the girl yeah. you don't like yeah you oh my god like you're not like that so <laughs> um i did see this a lot on tiktok or i guess the book community in general facebook instagram and tiktok yeah it's a lot of people yeah. reading this yeah yeah that's how i came across it and i was like oh that kind of sounds interesting and like i said i'd usually just kind of oh, maybe but I was like, you know what? I said I'd do this <laughs> this year, so I'm gonna do it. So yeah, right. That, that's why I read it. But it, was, it ended up being really good, and it's not too long. Um, and it's on Kindle, so I, I go do read it. it. <laughs> go read it. It's good times. It's good, good stuff. Well, it's not really good times, but you know. I mean, if it's something that you <laughs> enjoy reading, though, it kind yeah, of it, can it was, be. Yeah, yeah. It was good. I, I, I liked it. So, so is there like a mystery like aspect to it, or is it more just uh, like you know what's going on? You're just trying to stop him. Yeah, I kind of like that. Oh, more. okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I said mystery. I guess it wasn't really. No, no, no. I think you said thriller, but I just wanted yeah. to know if there was like. No, there's not. No, there's really no mystery to it. Oh, okay. I mean, there is. Uh, not kind from of. our perspective. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like you, you hear from parents no, and they, because they're, they go home. Some of them, like one mm-hmm. of the girls goes home and it's pretty it's pretty heavy yeah um, but it it was it was good so yeah good story um yeah so what do you what do you got next so a girl our girl <laughs> our i girl? read i read two <laughs> by taking fisher this month um both of the saint of steel series um i read so basically <laughs> i wanted to read the third one so i could read the fourth one I will say, though, that they are standalone um, books, so you can read them individually. You just won't mm-hmm. necessarily know, like, um, for example, the first book has a lot of beheadings, right? Right. The second book, you figure out what's happening with those beheadings. But, like, if you don't want to read the second book, you don't have to. Like, the story is complete in the first book. Um, okay. So... The third, so I didn't have to read the third book, but I'm glad I did, if that makes Mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. So it is called Paladin's Hope by T. Kingfisher. Uh, It is 300 pages. It is on Spotify. So if you have premium Spotify, you do get 15 hours of free audiobooks a month. Uh, I believe this was just under nine, maybe. Um, so that's how I listened to it. I began it on mm-hmm. January 9th. I ended it on January 11th because when you're mm-hmm. re- when you're listening at work, it goes by so much faster. <laughs> yeah. It is set in the fantasy world of the White Rat where a god has died and his paladins are struggling to find their place. The main characters are Piper, a lich doctor who examines corpses for the city guard, and Galen, a paladin of the said dead god who is haunted by his past. There's also a knoll um, called Earstripe. He enlists them to investigate a murder mystery. These bodies keep floating up the river and they're not entirely sure what's killing them. That leads them into dark secrets of the ancient ones. Mm. So (laughs) I'm going to read my text to you. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. One, I forgot how much I love taking Fisher's writing. Two, the eight scenes aren't as bad as I was anticipating. Three, the ending oh my god so (laughs) like i said it is um a male male pairing so that is what put me off to begin with with reading this book um i was telling you earlier that t kingfisher is probably the only person i'm ever going to (laughs) read a gay pairing with because 
she's she's our girl of course we're going yeah. to yeah yeah um she has such a way of writing and like witty and engaging um mm-hmm. that her books are just generally a delight to read um and then like the world of the white rat in general because you've read paladin's grace yes yes so just i love all of the different gods what they do um Mm -hmm. like there's saints there's um all these fun and then different beings i guess because there's not all human have different gods so that is just so cool I know yeah, I say so is. a lot, but that's how I that's how no, I talk when I'm passionate. <laughs> so learning more about the the uh worlds that these are partake in was really great. Uh the plot was also well paced and suspenseful enough that you kept reading. Um mm-hmm. the twists and turns that keep the guess like the reader guessing and the payoff of what was creating the bodies was just Chef's kiss amazing oh, love it nice 100 yeah. percent. and i love knolls they're so they're so cute and the way they speak <laughs> and stuff um, yeah and like i said earlier it is a gay pairing but i didn't struggle as much as i thought i was going to um and that might be because some of the scenes are brief or they happen off screen i guess off mm-hmm. page um so like you get like we messed up the sheets, but you don't get like the deep pebbled nibbles that we were speaking about <laughs> earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, 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 no nipples pebbling. Yeah. <laughs> and the romance didn't feel like you're gay. I'm gay. We should fall in love. Yeah. Which yeah, I, I, wanna... I always oh. worry about. Yeah. And I just want like people to know we, we have nothing against. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, it's not it's just i'm not a gay man so i don't no, i feel it's hard out of to place in that yeah. area yeah yeah for sure and like i just um i'm not yeah not against it i i'm not but i don't want people to be like oh because it's, it's not that at all it's just um hard to like relate in any way mm-hmm. when you know that that's a part of the story i mean you know so i don't there's want people to like yeah i think we're yeah <laughs> there's also like, that feeling of like i don't belong here kind of like this isn't yeah, for me like i'm invading yeah <laughs> their privacy <laughs> no kind yeah, but of. it's not it's not like written for you right right uh, that's yeah. kind of what put me off of reading it in the first place is that like mm-hmm. this is this is a area that is not meant for me basically yeah 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 yeah. i just don't want people to get the wrong idea (laughs) i know i love all people i don't care who you are who to go to bed with right exactly i couldn't care less so like it's i just don't want people to get the wrong idea but yeah Um, i'm the Um, same i haven't read any mail mail books or anything like that um i mean if one and you know i read yeah intriguing enough sure but it it I don't feel like I'm the the right. I'm not the correct audience. The target audience, yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And exactly. again, like I, in a lot of these books, I'm more intrigued with the, the plot line anyway, instead of what the romance is. So like, exactly. I I want to know, um, like the mechanism of all of these, like buildings that are they're stuck in. I, right. That like that is. A, that is why i kept reading is because oh, yeah. I, I want to know what like the payoff is basically yeah uh, that and was those, just a yeah, scene yeah. right yeah yeah right and cool like feelings are involved like you're going to be in like a what is it forced proximity so yeah of course like yeah. you develop feelings and I, I that's what i like about t kingfisher is that it's not necessarily that it's the forefront of the story but it happens you know what i yeah. mean yeah yeah she writes so well. I she mean, does. Yeah, I'm reading. Um, what moves the what dead? Moves the dead right now, and it's just like, oh, I just. It's like I missed her. It's that's like, oh, what. She's back. It's weird. That, it's that's weird. What I, like, I start you. reading her book, and I'm like, this is her. Like it's just different mm. than anybody else. I, yeah, there's yeah. like this unique way that she, even like the words she chooses. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, she, yes. like wool gathering. Who uses the term wool gathering in a book? 
She does. I know. Because she's amazing. I love her. Yeah, I love her writing style. I want people need to go read something. Yeah. The Hollow Please. Places is my favorite. That's on KU now, right? Or no? I can't think is, of that yes. one's on KU. It is. It is. Mm-hmm. Everyone should read that. Every every single person, please. Yes. I, even like my coworkers, I um, <laughs> I recommend it to. <laughs> and like, it's hard to be like, um, oh no, it's not on Kindle Unlimited anymore. I'm looking right now. That's a bummer. It was recently. Oh no, maybe it was one of those days. It could have been. Mm. It's so good though. It's it is. It's worth I, $10. I found it, and I will tell you, I found it at my library, and I live in a small town. Right. Yes. Also, so yes. check your library too. You know, you don't have to go. I, I get times are tough and everything's expensive, but um, check your library because I borrowed it from the library for free. The <laughs> so. next time we do a giveaway, we should just give away the whole place. <laughs> we should make make them read it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, next is our read with S and B. Yes, uh, awesome. So, um, the Ever King by L. J. Andrews, and it's a fantasy romance. Mm-hmm. So you started it on the fifth of January, and then the thirteenth, and then mm-hmm. I started it the fifteenth of January. Oh, we were only two 20- days apart. Yeah, and ended the twenty-first of January. And I read my copy on Ku. Yes, me too. You- the Ever King is a fantasy romance. And is the first installment in the Everseas series by author L.J. Andrews. For years, Eric Bloodsinger, the scarred king of the Ever Kingdom, has thought of nothing but vengeance against the man who killed his father and trapped him beneath the waves, making him a prisoner of his own realm. Until his enemy's daughter unintentionally breaks the chains on the Ever, and Eric makes her the unwitting pawn in his vicious game of revenge. The book is set in the same world as the best-selling Broken Kingdom series, but can be read independently. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. A little extra tidbit. It is, because I read the Broken Kingdom series last year. So oh, okay. I was familiar with um, who the father of, what's her face? Livia, right? That's her name? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Livia, yeah. So I was familiar with like her parents' backstory before I started reading this. Oh, okay. Yeah, is that like, good? Oh yeah. Oh, cool. Vikings, cool, cool, cool. come on. Oh yeah, yeah. You're gonna. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna check that out. <laughs> Sorry. Go Want ahead. to read? <laughs> yes. So I think I liked it well enough. It was written in an engaging way, and a morally gray MMC is always fun. Um, <laughs> I did find the female main character a little wishy washy for my liking um mm-hmm. and like her morals and i suppose it makes sense in like the events that happen like the thing you know the thing yeah okay. um and i did find <laughs> some plot points to be a little confusing but we can talk more about that in like the after show oh yeah 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 for sure so so this is a series for me that i will i i will read the next one so i I really loved the different Fey worlds. I thought it was freaking cool, and I liked the uh, pirate like stuff. I okay, I didn't know I was gonna enjoy that. Yeah, I'm like, oh god, pirates. Uh. And then pirates I'm like, of oh, the Caribbean. Is... Oh yeah, like yeah. I'm picturing Johnny Depp, and it's not that. Um, no, the it's sea Fey aspect was really cool for me. Um, I liked the way. Uh, what was the their fury the, the, the sirens and all that yeah. shit yeah yeah i i just thought it was just i will say all I that like shit that was too. so cool like i love it i'm they... reading i'm like this is so rad how the she... guys that sing his mm-hmm. song yeah he was a um, siren i think right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and th- what i do and like the... how she like intertwined siren fol- folklore into how these fey use their magic that was really cool yeah 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 so i just um there's just I don't know. There's so much going on, but it was it was fun and it was I loved it. Um, the slow burn was brilliant in my opinion. Yes, I felt like I was being edged. So did she. <laughs> there were so many times where it was like, okay, please nope. now, no, I know. And it was like, um, now, <laughs> no. When I wrote this, I thought of the song because I literally wrote, "I love it and I hate it at the same time." <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that I love it and I hate it. yeah. So that's what I thought of when I wrote that. Anyway, exactly. Um. <laughs> 
I thought this book was really fun and there's just so many spectacular things happening. Um, there was one event in particular that I was surprised by, maybe even a tad disappointed, but I will get into that in our spoiler full after show yes. as well. Yes, 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 yes. So what's your rec and rating? So rated it 3.5. Mm-hmm. That's just because the book that I read previously was four and I didn't want to like, you know, insinuate yeah. that they're on the same level. But I mean, it, it was a good book. So <laughs> I, it was like two spice, right? Like, yeah, I gave it two. Yeah. And only yeah. like one eye roll because the female main character. Yeah. The naivety. Yeah. yeah. Um, I gave it four stars. I I really liked it. Um, two spice and one eye roll. She's, you know, they they always gotta have. They gotta have a something little too, a little too naive. Like, well, she was like little. eighteen, right? She was a baby. Yeah. So I get it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's like dang. But it's like sometimes you're just like, <sighs> come on, come on. But I I I liked her. I mean, it wasn't yeah. like a character I didn't enjoy no. reading. I I did, and and I liked him a lot. <laughs> she was no Aurora. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But Bloodsinger, he's, he's oh cool. my god, his scars. Oh my god, I love him. Oh, me I love too, him so much. I and like, he, oh. I'm sorry, he had olive skin, brown eyes, and dark hair. I'm sorry, yeah. is that is that Austin Matthews? Because it's Austin mm, Matthews. It is a little <laughs> bit. Is that who you saw? That's who you saw. That's who I always see. Always see. Well, let's um, be honest. I love they like just, blonde. Yeah, and then you just pretend they're not. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he um. Oh, I liked him. Eric oh yeah blood singer i liked oh, him boy. too his little mm-hmm. quirky remarks of like just yeah sass he was just sassy yeah he was very sassy i loved him loved it yep <laughs> okay so i'm gonna get into uh the fabric of our souls by k.m moranova i mm-hmm. have read other books by her we read uh mm-hmm. books one and two oh, wrath of wrath god the- of wrath and lies and yes. the other one of sleep really and death do. or something? That that's the last one. Oh, or maybe no. Rest no, maybe it's and, not. I don't know. They're good death books. Rest. Death and rest. They're good books. We lies. just can't remember their names. No, and they are good. We just I do want to read. I'm going to read the third. Yeah, we have to. I said it. Yeah, I really did like the first two. Um, it's just it's been a long. It's been a while. Mm-hmm. No, no, no hate to you. No, no, no. K- KM or. Moranova, you're yeah. you're amazing, but um, it's just been a while. Anyways, this is a dark romance, 292 pages. I started it the 21st of January and ended it on the 25th of January, and I read it on KU, which I did not know it was there. Yeah, and it is, it is so exciting because it's all over Book Talk. So, oh, that's good. She she yeah. deserves that. Yeah, she's great. So, um, it's, it says uh the summary. I am 26 years old and I want to die. So when I wake up at the hospital with my brother weeping over me, I know my life is about to change. What I didn't expect was to get a nurse with cruel eyes and a morbid sense of humor that surpasses my own. I'm even more surprised when I arrive at Harlow Sanctum and realize that my brother selected an unorthodox rehabilitation center that rooms people based on their treatment plan. And my roommate is none other than the man with the cruel eyes that I met a day prior. I crave death. He craves life. Can two people like us cure each other oh. it doesn't even do it justice but dude um <laughs> it's like a mental institution love story so it's um it is sad and i am going to tell you please <laughs> check triggers if you've had mental health issues in the past this might be difficult for you mm-hmm. um please and she even writes in the beginning like yo like be careful tread lightly especially if you've had issues because it's it's pretty uh it's dark um and it's a it's a lot to unpack so is she okay do we need to check on her i well i'll get into that in a second so (laughs) um i found our main character win was written very very well so if you have ever battled any mental health issues, um, you will understand her thought process with conflicts completely. Like she, you're just kind of like, God, this is, I hate to say perfect, but it is. And the author does mention in the beginning that she has had these issues, uh, mental health issues in the past. Um, oh, so. And she wrote Wynn's character like based off of those struggles, not that she, this story happened to her. 
just but, a reflection of yeah yes the mindset and everything that you're in um, when you're in that dark place kind of how you think how the decisions you make blah 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 it was all based on like that she could relate to the character in that way because she has had her own struggles but apparently she is well now so um i'm sure writing the author, this probably helps yeah and you could tell she's been there it just i've read stories where the person you can tell if the person writing it has been there or not if mm -hmm. you've been there yourself right right i've had issues so when i read it i'm like yes like i i, I get it it's not just like some people don't understand because they've never been there and they just think it's sad, depressed, and dreary and dark and there's nothing else. There's so much that goes into it. It's so there it's is. deep there, there, there is. thing. Yeah. Um, so Wynn was written beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, and the two main... There's two male characters that are main... Uh, main male characters, sorry, in the book. And they were also written very well. Their stories are oof, heartbreaking. This book made me cry. <laughs> <laughs> um which is such of a rare thing for me i wasn't like some people read this and they just and i, I get that um i can get how it can really make you Ruin fall your, but um yeah i i did shed some tears i was like in bed reading and my husband was sleeping and i'm trying to <gasps> like, <laughs> they're like falling and i'm like oh my god i'm crying and i knew it was coming because i felt like my tears coming mm -hmm. and my nose I get this weird, like, hot nose. Yeah, I don't no, know. I think everyone, yeah. <laughs> it's like the hot feeling at the top of your nose. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. And then they spilled. So um, it's it's not, how do I say this? I don't want to give anything away. It's not, the ending is not completely awful. <laughs> if that, I don't want to give anything away. It's, it. I guess it's a, it, it's, it's, it's not a happy, a hap is it? it's a happy ending, kind of. Um, so it's not a happily ever after, or it kind of is, but well, not. Well, yeah, it's. Uh, just read it. No, <laughs> it's not. Um, I don't want people to think like not read it because they think it's just going to be complete Dreary. devastation. Yeah, there's there's good in it. I'll say that in the ending. Okay, is this? Um, <laughs> it's just one book. There's. It's not a one, series. One book. Nope. Oh, it's a standalone, and it's only. 292 uh 292 is it's not bad that's pretty it's, average. it's worth it it's worth yeah. it um i gave it i gave it four stars because so i've been telling you i've been letting books simmer mm -hmm. um this one i let simmer for a couple days because there was <sighs> some things that i was like um like they get roomed together i don't care how unorthodox the place is that's really weird i'm a man and a woman yeah. getting roomed together in a mental institution especially a lot of times like, yeah they don't want you to form relationships Bonds. like that because it's, you can yeah. both end up just in a really dark place together so um there is a little bit of stuff like that I, I get why they did it when you read the book it's like okay and they kind of did that on purpose but well obviously but um there is a couple of things like that right which would make me which made me kind of like go back and forth but uh it was just i i could i, I thought about it a lot it evoked it made me cry and when was written so well like oh my goodness I couldn't give it less than four, even with the things that I thought were kind of, eh. um, it was just written so well. She's, she's a new author, newer, and this book was really good. So, um, I gave it four stars, three and a half spice, and it is pretty spicy. Yes. And, um, one <laughs> I eye roll. I was going to say, I saw that. I'm like, wait. Yeah. Because it's, um, but it's not, I mean, She's rooming with that dude, so I mean, eh. oh, so they have a long time. Yes, got it. Um, yeah, so, eh. um, I only recommend this, and I do recommend this, but only if you can handle trauma and are able to read a book with extremely heavy topics and be okay. Be able that's to like disassociate important. yourself from it. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, she even writes in the beginning about like it does romanticize. <laughs> like people with mental issues and she goes it's not a good thing she you know she she there's a big disclaimer in the beginning of the book mm -hmm. so she did well with that um it was beautifully written and i enjoyed it i'm gonna re <laughs> i'm gonna add it to my tbr but i'm probably gonna let it like a couple of months go by before i do it because <laughs> i hate simmer. when it's like boom boom you know when we yeah, read right yeah. it to each other yeah but i do want you to read it because i wonder what you think yeah um, yeah it's good it's, it's, it's 
it's heavy but it's good that's fine <laughs> yeah yeah um so like i said earlier i did read three and four of the saint of seal series this one is paladin's faith by taking fisher obviously 446 pages like so Ooh. 146 more pages than the last one and mm -hmm. spoiler alert, i did feel these pages I should say, because I started reading it on the 16th, no, the 14th of January, and I didn't end it until the 25th. So it took me like 10, 11 days to actually finish. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so this book follows Marguerite, which you will remember from the first book. I liked her. Yes. Well, yeah. I will get oh, into no. that. It's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, she is on the run from a former employee who employer who wants her dead, and Shane, a paladin who has lost his god and his purpose. He is again one of the paladins of the Satan of Seal. Um, but even deeper so, he was once supposed to be a paladin of the what is it? The dreaming god. The dreaming god never came for him, so he has double trauma of not being Oof. able not feeling enough for two gods um mm -hmm. they are after a brilliant artificer who has invented a device that could change the world but also attracts the attention of a dangerous cult along the way they have to deal with glittering and hairless court uh someone who is demon possessed and their mm -hmm. growing attraction to each other so Ooh. i did enjoy marguerite in the first book paladin's yeah. grace but as a main character, I had a hard time connecting with her because she is this overly confident character. Um, she's got big old titties. Um, mm. And she's so <laughs> small. Of course she is. Yeah. So um, and she can't even do a push up because her boobies are so big. Uh, so like I just oh. yeah, like I didn't. And of course, like. I don't want this to come across again as like me being, I don't know, like butt hurt over not having big boobs, but like, or <laughs> not being tiny. But this, this is a book for someone, right? Like somebody's got someone who yeah. can connect with that. I can't because I'm, I'm not the most confident person, but also like, <laughs> uh, it's just when you don't have those things in common. Right. So I actually did like connect more with Piper in the last book, who is the mm -hmm. Lich Doctor, instead of Marguerite in this book, um, or like Shane, <laughs> because Shane is like so like. There's a point where he's like, "Is there a word for guilt when you don't feel guilty enough?" I'm like, "Oh shit, <laughs> me, <laughs> yeah. hashtag me." <laughs> oh. Um, but again, like, there's always that. T. King Fisher cleverness of um, like the the creatures she she doesn't create them but she she uses them I should say like there's um, land whites there's these things that like uh, it's basically the earth will eat you <laughs> which is okay. pretty cool there's like this yeah. demon that I found really cool um, and like I really actually liked the last forty percent of the book a whole lot more than the 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 rest of it. Um, mm -hmm. I thought that the last forty percent was like, like I want to know more about that, basically. Right. Okay. Uh, we, you do get like a little sprinkle of what. So the last book, uh, Paladin's Hope, you mm -hmm. get the last sentence is like an oh shit moment. So okay. that's what made me want to read book four because I was like oh shit this thing happens so it's got to be resolved in the next book it's not but you do get like a little sprinkling <laughs> of like what may have happened okay is this the last book no there's going to be three there's more be... oh shit. also i should mention that okay so this <laughs> is the saint of seal series i believe there she has set up that it'll be a series of seven books there are Dang. two other books called the clock tar war mm -hmm. uh, clock work boys clock okay war, clock tar war number one and the wonder engine clock tour war number two um it takes part in the world of the white rat 
And then also oh, okay. there is one that's called Sword Heart that also takes place in the world of the White Rat. So, oh wow, there's at least six more books. <laughs> that... And that this is the longest. Has she ever written a series? Ah, uh, um, you know what? Not, uh, I don't think sure. so. I think this is the because that's a big series to start with. I mean, mm-hmm. she's great; she could do it. We oh, she absolutely! Can, but like, damn, <laughs> that's awesome, though. I know. So I'm like I said, I there's so many books. So at some point, I'm going to try to get through all of them, but I don't want to be like boom, 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 boom. Of well, yeah, you don't want to get burnt out either. Exactly. I mean, it would be hard to do that with her, but yeah, just putting stuff in between. Mm-hmm. It, just break it up a little bit keep the anticipation going like seasons in a show exactly you know? right yeah I got um, you. and then one thing i do want to point out is that t king fisher is really good at the dual pov um you know how like in some of the books that we read it's like chapter one is the girl and then chapter two is the dude and then yeah chapter- yeah she doesn't do that whatsoever it's just kind of like warps into what the other character is thinking and i think that that it sounds confusing when I when I say it because I'm not you know <laughs> the most like how to explain right. it to where yeah but I think that's yeah no really clever way yeah, of it being she's, done she's like brilliant and you can tell but not but her books are pretentious in any way shape or form exactly you know yeah so I, I, that's a good thing to have because most people who are brilliant their books are pretentious um, right and then her she doesn't. She can write it in a way to where it's still brilliant without being pretentious. Mm-hmm. And it's like, how do you do it? How? She's special. Yeah, she's, she's special. She's a unicorn. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she really is. <laughs> so yeah. I gave it three and a half stars. Uh, one spice because, um, like I said, a lot of her books do like center around the plot of the story instead of um, the spice of the story, which I also appreciate mm-hmm. because, I mean, there's a time and place for like, it's basically just erotica, right? Is the like yeah, super... and sometimes you just want to read something different because mm-hmm. it's a lot of hype around like the spicy things, which I like. But yeah, it's a nice little break. Exactly. Uh, yeah, just one eye roll, which is the first eye roll I think I've ever given given T King Fisher. <laughs> so with the girl, so with oh, I'm so sad because I really liked Marguerite, but um, is it like mentioned often or is it just like a one time thing? No, it's mentioned enough that it's um annoying. annoying. Yeah. See, I like I can read it. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I get it now. I, I'm envisioning it. Thank you. But like, um, yeah, when it goes, when it when it keeps doing it, it, that gets a little old for me. Well, and I can understand that. Like, okay, so obviously this is a paladin, so there's combat that's going to happen, and boobies are probably going to get in the way. Cool, whatever. But like, outside of yeah. that, maybe not so much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I mean. It's one eye roll. This one, it's fine. It's fine. It's I her. would still recommend reading it. Like absolutely, my favorite book of T. King Fisher's is probably a Paladin's Grace, and then The Hollow Places. Yeah, but yeah, the Paladin's Grace was really good. Mm-hmm. I think that's like my third though. What's your second one? Then? I um, A House with Good Bones. I oh, freaking love yeah. that book. Oh, I love that goddamn book. Ah, it's, it's hard so to good. like. We need to make like a tier list or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah or just t king fisher books t king fisher books yeah she's so she's incredible though she, she is. is i know i really we did like a house of good bones i know if she, if she only knew i know she should she only knew <laughs> that that one tiktok that i sent you just like um i'm actually friends with her i'm like oh i saw that oh are you are you are you living That's my cool. dream <laughs> How is it? Yeah. How is it? Must be nice. Yes. Is, is it nice? Good. Tell tell her I said hi. Do Talking about me. which, what are you currently mm. reading? Um, I'm reading What Moves the Dead. Yeah. By T. King for sure. <laughs> and it's really good so far. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. She's just, I don't know. She's special. She is. She's like, yo, I read the book and I'm like, even when I'm like middle of it through it, it's like right now I'm reading it, right? Mm-hmm. And it's been so good and i know that like i'm reading it. i'm like God, yeah you yeah, almost have to like when I talk it. about it i get even more excited yeah <laughs> like oh my god it's so yeah and she just she's please read her stuff you will get it you will understand well in the um, reason what are you 
Oh, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> the reason why you're reading What Moves the Dead is because our book club book for February is going to be what is it called? What Feasts at Night. What Feasts at Night. By her. Which and it's part two. Part two. So if you haven't read What Moves the Dead yet, please go ahead and do that as soon as possible. You do have until the end mm-hmm. of February, which this year is a leap year. Fun fact. Um, I saw that. Yeah, so you have until February 29th to read both of them. And the other one's how how long? Oh boy, I'm trying to go back to it. Uh, it's not that long. Yeah. What, so What Moves the Dead is only 176 pages. Oh, so together they're like yeah, maybe four pages. I'm probably going to finish that. Yeah. I'm going to probably finish that tonight. Nice. I am currently reading Frostbitten, which was my cringe KU. <laughs> no, is it? You know... I got like a chapter in and I'm like, yeah, this this fits. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fun. They're so fun. I, I know. Wait. I love cringe KU. I, yeah. I I'm I'm gonna start researching this week. Yeah. I'm gonna do research and find you a Valentine's, like a corny. I was gonna say, are we gonna do Valentine Imagine we do yes. the same one? <laughs> oh. oh my god. I We're don't... gonna do a Valentine's one and then we could do like a like a Oh my god! Like St. Patrick's Day, we can find like some like leprechaun. Oh, I'm oh. sure there is. Hell yeah, there is. There oh has god. to be. Yeah, I'm gonna find a. Qu- what if we did do the same one? Uh, and we don't reveal it now. Just no. so our listeners know, we don't reveal the shit to each other. No. Like we have a script and we leave that part blank. We do. Yeah, because we reveal each other live because it's funny. It's and hilarious. It's, the reactions are always wonderful. <laughs> so that would be funny. I think it will happen eventually. I'm no sure it will. Yeah, I mean, shit. Look at our <laughs> look at our decor. Look at the books we choose. I know kindred spirits. I know kindred cats. Kindred cats. Okay, cheese. Um. So yeah, we're gonna be reading what feast at night. Yes. it is not a Ku book. Um, I've, it will be. Yeah. I'm gonna purchase it on my Kindle. Um. So yeah, you have to buy that bad boy if you want to read it with us listen to it audiobook or whatever i I don't know if the audiobook will be out the same day it should be yeah yeah it will be i don't know i'm gonna read it so yeah but um (laughs) yeah yeah i don't know why i did this (laughs) i love it (laughs) anyway we get goofy at the end i know i know it's it's funny (laughs) okay Thank you all for listening to us today. Be sure to check us out on socials, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, which, by the way, yay! How many followers do we have? We have 40 or 400 as of today. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I know, I was, as of like 20 minutes ago, I, was, I checked. And it's so exciting. I know, I love it. And then I like go through, it's like calling all TikTokers are 10,000. I'm like, I'm happy with my freaking 400. I know. So calm down. Our friends. <laughs> You know, I yeah. want to say that, too, while we're speaking about TikTok, is that, like, I see all of the, the friends that we do have, and I just, I love it. They're, like, such, like, a little community of, like, they're buying each other books. They're, like, chatting. I yes. love that. Like, we got to infiltrate. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. It's so much fun. It is. It's so much fun. Yes. Um. So, yeah, that's exciting. Any books we discussed will be on our website. And sign up for our news letter. letter. If you want to stay up to date with our releases, I can't talk. It's fine. Right, sorry. We're almost done. <laughs> okay. If there's anything else you'd like to see from us, please let us know. And finally, if you're a fan of the podcast and want us, want to, oh, see me too, <laughs> want to show us some love, please subscribe and share it with everyone you know. That's all for today. I'm your co-host, Stephanie. And I'm back. And this has been Novelty with s b See you in the next chapter and stay tuned. Yes. Don't leave yet if you want some spoiler full discussion on the Ever King. Okay, so I am curious about what you were talking about when you said um, that you were surprised at one event. What was what was the event? Yeah, so so this series is going to be what three books? I yes, think? and they're long. Mm-hmm. So why did he have to like give her the position of the queen so quickly? Uh, yeah, with everything going on in the world, that could have been. I thought that was very abrupt. Like you're the queen. I was like, no, 
like I think that and maybe they're doing that to stir up some more drama sooner I guess but I think that could have been I think at least at the very end of the book right where like uh people are coming after them like shit is happening like oh I need to secure my place let's put her in Mm -hmm. place instead of it was a little random yeah and um the only thing I'm having an issue with, um, and it's, it may just be because I'm just not right, but um, so is there a connection to spell? Okay, so um, part of the other uh, Ser- series? series, there's this thing, mm-hmm. um, I forget how, how to pronounce this, like a hajara or something, where yeah. you are bonded with your beloved, basically. Like you develop such a deep bond with your other person that uh your hearts are the same so i think she was trying to put that across in this book but because you don't have the because it you can read it as a standalone but it would have been important to put that part in there as far as like Mm -hmm. um because once you find your love you're 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 stuck you're loved but that necklace had nothing to do with it um or not the necklace what did he call it his um (sighs) shit token no it wasn't a token. Uh, we go with the S. <laughs> oh shit! His, uh, it's like oh, it's oh my god, it's like there. I know it's just on the tippy tongue. His thingy. Yeah, the thing <laughs> that she shatters. Yes, is that like not? I think that's for so that's all for not. It, I think it has a place where um, it's supposed to make him stronger, but only if he actually does love her the way that uh husband is supposed to love a wife um because oh okay so it strengthens the bond instead of like it being the only reason there is a bond okay okay so that i get okay yeah yeah because i was a little i was a little confused because when his um his mom or his grandma his grandma his grandma yeah um yeah when she's like revealing all that i'm like wait hold on hold on and i wanted to make sure i mean i i was like okay I just wanted to make sure I was interpreting everything no, I was reading correctly. to be fair, that is part of the reason why I said things were confusing is because unless you went back and you read the other ones and you know that like these these bonds exist, that yeah. part is very confusing. That was the only part. I mean, everything else like cool. Mm. That part I was like, oh, I was oh, what, 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 I was what confused about why he made her think that it was her dad that created all of this when like it created like a, a a rift between them that didn't need to happen that wasn't necessary yeah like she didn't have to hate him like ever no like, and like i understood why she, he took her because she again the word that we can't think of right now but yeah um the thing the thing that <laughs> made her be able to open the the gate the ever or whatever um yeah but then, like, what's the point of making her think that her family tortured him when she knows for a fact that they wouldn't have? And Maybe it was somebody her, else. But he she can't to go stay. back anyway. Yeah, I don't know. That was kind of weird. Because, yeah, when it all gets revealed, you're like, oh. Oh. Mm. oh. The whole time? The whole time. <laughs> but there is another book. And I wonder, sometimes, I'm, I'm not saying always, but. That might, they might get more into that. They, they might, yeah. Maybe. I mean, that'd be kind of going backwards, but. I'm trying to think of, like, how, because the other one is a set of three, two, and I'm trying to think of how it was split up, because I don't think, I don't think they got together right away. I think even the end, like, the last book, there was, mm-hmm. like, almost no spice, I want to say. But I could be wrong. Like this, I was surprised mm. after learning that this was um, a continuation of that story. I was surprised how much spice was actually in this. And can yeah. we just point out the spice <laughs> and how I good it was? It was. Good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, girl. <laughs> I was like in bed, like, oh, <laughs> clenching those thighs <laughs> together. <laughs> TMI. Damn, yeah. she. I mean, but it is what it is. Yeah. That she could write that spice. Boy. Oh yeah. I'm reading it like. And then, oh my gosh! And then it, it was like oh, the 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 masquerade. 
Holy I Jesus. know. I, right. Remember? Remember? I oh. asked you, hey, did you get yep. to the ball yet? Done... <laughs> I'm like, no, not yet. And you're like, mm, mm. okay. I just said you the I eyeballs. Was it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, our favorite, so our favorite to send to each other. It's freaking sad. We need to make stickers but, of that too. Oh, we should. But oh my god, like I was, we were there. Like or I was there. I'm reading. You know, I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, here's the ball. What's gonna happen? Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, oh shit. Oh. oh, oh, and then I'm like, oh, no, wait, but this is good. It. It was written really well. It was. I liked. I loved that book. Mm-hmm. I really did. I, I. There was a little couple things where I was like, huh. Um. But overall, yeah, I gave it four stars because I just thinking about it right now. Yeah. Like, I was into it. I was really into it. Like I was and, excited to yeah. read the next page. I'm excited for the Ever Queen. I think it comes out tomorrow. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. So. Yeah, for sure, dude. I, I really liked it. <laughs> next really liked next it. month, it's gonna be the, the Ever Queen. The Ever Queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I I don't. I think I will read it before the end of next week. I I know I will. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really I really enjoyed it. I, I liked. See, this is why I think maybe the Crowns and Iaxia. Sh- I should have given it five because I already know I like yeah. that one more. I have a hard time with rating because like maybe four point five. Yeah. I feel like five should like change something. Five should be like really... earth shattering. It... The only thing I can say, and I think the reason why I'm so partial to that is just because that's kind of what got me into like. Yeah, it's like your little like. I read some fantasy, but that was like a big, like those that was a lot of fantasy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the two novels were pretty long, and I think that's what really got me like cooked my brain going oh my god i really like this and i at fantasy and i think maybe that's why it's like special for me probably yeah but yeah but i liked the ever king a lot i did I yeah really- i was surprised with it being pirates because i don't um i think i read or tried to read the one by what's her face oh my goodness this is another um <laughs> my brains are cooperating no. today it's not. I couldn't even read. I can't even read. I'll read tonight, though. Yeah, I will, too. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, is it, a, is it a pirate? Is it a pirate book? It's a pirate book, and it came out recently. And it. Mm. I think maybe I just feel um, a little bitter on it because I'm waiting for the um, the under, Underworld Gods number three to come out, and she came out with this instead. So maybe that's why. Oh. You're just mad. God damn it. Why would you do this to me? I didn't think I would enjoy pirate things. Me neither. It was so cool. How they like dive and the ship dives and just the way he was explaining all that. Yeah, I think. Or the way they were. Um, it was cool, man. The, uh, they call it Fury in. Yeah. Like it's not magic, it's Fury. I think mm-hmm. the way that she does that is amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. Like, so it, she, her magic systems are very unique. Which yes, is cool. they are. Yeah, it's nice seeing. It's like refreshing, like not something that's just typical. Exactly. Um. Yeah, I really like. I, I was surprised. I was like reading about the, even the like um, were they like mermaids? But they weren't pretty. Well, <clears throat> they were like scary. Um, but you know, typically, well, actually, yeah, <laughs> they're so yeah. No, I know they're, they're not. Supposed to be, yeah. Yeah, but in movies and shit, you always see them as like mm-hmm. these beautiful creatures, and I like that this not was in more Harry Potter with like I've never pottered. <gasps> so it's called a ship of bones and teeth, by the way. The one that I was thinking of, it's by Karina uh, Hale. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I have seen a lot of things on that, mm-hmm. but I haven't. She also haven't. wrote a um, headless horseman, which I'm like, can you please just. Can you just finish the Underworld Gods for me, please? <laughs> what's that? What's the first one called in that? Of what? Uh, oh, wait. What's the series you're talking about? The Underworld Gods. It is... Mm-hmm. The first one is God of Death. The okay. Well, I guess that's point five. Book one is okay. River of Shadows. Book two is Crown of Crimson. Book three is supposed to be City of Darkness. It has the... Um, the date has extended multiple times. Like originally, mm. it was like November, oh, then it was December. And then you're writing these other and shits. Like, Dude, and you're like what the hell? Please, 
<laughs> so that's really good. Yeah. I really like oh. oh yeah, it's um it's the one with the Finnish uh god of the death dead, Tuani. Oh yeah, that I really yes. like that one. Ooh, maybe I'll but give it a whirl. I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't really get into the rest of her books. Um the dude is mm. the dude is always just too much and the girl is always like, um, I don't know, oh, like no. I work out, I'm a badass, I wear leathers and like all this. I'm like, dude, like oh, th- th- but you need to know how it ends. Yeah, dude. I got it. <laughs> that was like me with that one, the bonds, the bonds that tie series. Mm-hmm. And I fucking got, I've never been so <laughs> angry. slammed it shut. I was so pissed. Dude, so I would have been too. You told angry. me about it later on. I'm like, yeah, dude, absolutely. <clears throat> you ruined everything with that. <laughs> it cannot be redeemed. It cannot be fit. Uh, don't even get me started again. I get upset thinking about it because I gave a lot of time and energy and dedication. Yeah, because to that at that series. point, it's a waste of your time, right? Like, and that series was very okay. Like, nah. and I think that's another reason why, with the court that's cruel and rubbly, why I'm like, do I really want it? Because I was let down before, mm-hmm. and I don't want that to happen again. Right? <laughs> yes. But the Ever King, I have to read the next one. Yeah. That one was more. That one was more for me. Mm-hmm. Um, it spoke to me <sighs> a little bit more. So. You know, Eric. And Blitz, oh. I love Eric. I know. I'll, read about, I'll have another book of him <laughs> kicking our feet. <laughs> yeah, what you thinking about, <laughs> Eric Blitz? Anyways, Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews. <laughs> Are you checking him out today? Uh, yeah, dude. His little <laughs> like post goals celebration always just. Oh. Yeah, they'll be they'll be all over TikTok, and then I'll I get them because I, I send them to you, and so now it's like my algorithm. I'm like, this is, should be her algorithm, but it's fine. But I get goalies, <laughs> yeah, so then I send them to I'll you. Just, yeah, and then you send me the goalies, yeah. so it works out. It works out. <laughs> okay, well, now we're getting like way off I topic. <laughs> I don't even know if this we're is going to be included. <laughs> but let us know what you thought yes, of the Everking. If you read it, leave us comments, email, whatever. Let Everything. us know. Let us know. Hmm. All the things. All the things. Let us know if you want to read the next one too. Yeah, because I'm gonna. So I probably will too. Yeah, just not as quick as me. Exactly. <laughs> well, because I don't yeah, like yeah. to. I mean, I'll let you know, and then I can let you know. Yeah, if it's worth, if it's it. worth it. So yeah, can you work so it? It works out. It works out. Put your thing down. Yeah. Flip it and reverse it. Thank you for getting that. <laughs> and I'm thank not doing the you rest all. It's like backwards speaks. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's your friend of nation. Mm. Thank you all for participating in this um, after show spoiler full fun. Um, we hope to see you in the next one. Yeah, see you in the next chapter. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.